on the next example, if you guys remember the conjugate from irrational numbers, Skylar, we're going to use the conjugate for this for um, irrational numbers as well. So in this case, I'm going to want to multiply by 1 plus the square root of 2. Does everybody see? Remember the conjugate, negative and positive? Right? And then I'm going to have to use the square root of 2 again because just like how we got i times i was i squared, eliminated the i, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to give, leave us with the square root of 4, which we can now take the square root of. So up top, I apply the square root of property, which is 4 plus 4 square root of 2. And in the denominator, this is the difference of two squares. So I really just need to multiply the first two terms and the last two terms, because the middle terms are going to divide, um, add to 0. So therefore, I have 1 minus the square root of 4. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we know what the square root of 4 is. That's 2. So really, it's 1 minus 2, which is negative 1. Then I divide the negative 1 into each term. And I can rewrite it like this. Your test might also factor out a negative 4, just a little FYI. And you might also see an answer that looks like that. Just trying to, both of them would be 